It is February the 24th, 2020. I certainly hope I don't bore everybody to tears uh, on this uh, James Millen amplifier, this push-pull amplifier, but I've made real progress on it, and I think I've got it to where it's supposed to be. Uh, it does work very well with 811s in there, which is so nice because they're you know they got more plate dissipation and everything than these uh, than these 812s over here. You see the uh, old original 812s. One of them was uh, pretty strong. But yeah, see you can see this one measured 72, and this one measured 46. This one got really hot, and this one didn't. Well, anyway, I got a as close as I have a matched pair, so to speak. Let's get our hand look at them. With 811s in there now. I mean, I know you can't really tell much about them. They look just like the other ones. I built that coil right there. See my uh, tuning capacitor is about half. That's that guy right over there. This thing's on. Um, I got a better uh, input coil and everything. Anyway, to get to the point, it took a little bit more drive, so I brought this guy out here. It's actually on now. Idling voltage, I want to show you this is uh, 1500 okay here's key down 1200 440 milliamps that's input grid current of 100 milliamps output 350 watts but if you do those ratios as I did a while ago 1200 volts 440 milliamps is a 528 watts input 300 and well, God's measure 360 watts output, which was 68 percent. Not too bad. It could be a little bit better. It could be 72 percent, or maybe even 74 percent if <coughs> if life was perfect. But it isn't. So uh, I'm getting 350 watts out of this jewel now. 360. This is what I got a while ago. And I'm not monitoring my input. Um, so I'm using a bird. This is a bird watt meter with a uh, 2500 watt element. It's just that it's a uh, digital display I've had some time. 360 watts. I did have to use a tuner up here between this rig because it's, you know, a solid state guy and um, the uh, input of this otherwise this thing is hunting all the time it's trying to tune but I w with a little tuner I was able to make this guy really happy give it in a something really close to you know 50 plus J0 impedance as a matter of fact let's see what meter we're looking at see now we're looking at SWR I don't know if you saw that come up there now see we look at SWR and when we key it you can see the West WR and we see this. So you see it's all see it all at once. I don't know if you can or not. So I you know had to make this guy happy, otherwise uh, the thing was just uh, swimming all over the place. And power output says it's hundred watts. So I'm taking hundred watts to drive this thing. I'm probably uh, dissipating a bit of it in here. Uh, for the match. But anyway, my uh, grid tuning is at uh, 65% and my plate tuning is at uh, 55%. Uh, the reason I make a point of that is because when you got your coils and your capacitors ratios all wrong, I gotta remember this thing is staying on. I'm leaving it on on purpose. Maybe I should turn it off. Uh, you don't want your, your uh, plate tuning here to be like at zero, you know, where the capacitor is completely open or you don't want it to be completely closed. The same here, you want it to operate somewhere in the middle. So I'm very happy with that. Um, I guess I just need to kind of tidy it up. See the voltage uh, drains pretty slow. One way to make it drain really quick, see I'm running uh, minus 100 volts bias on it. Watch it, this is uh, my bias right here, adjustment. If I lower the bias to zero, 
uh, it'll come there it comes see it drains it pretty quick then because the, because the 811s are conducting oh I'm so pleased that I was able to use 811s in this and then I gotta remember that after I drain the power supply to come back over here and put about that minus 100 on it doesn't seem to be really critical whether it's minus 100 150 uh, I will probably I will probably run it, it, it whatever the uh, two manuals say it is supposed to be but I think I have succeeded in uh, in making this thing fully alive again and stable 100 milliamps grid 440 milliamp plate and again 360 watts output 0.35 0.36 kV. There you go. Thanks for watching. I always appreciate and uh, highly regard the uh, suggestions you guys make. As, uh, they're uh, very much appreciated. And they help me quite a bit. Stay safe. Well, since I'm still having fun, I might show you one more thing. Um, I raised the voltage over here, the taps from the uh, 2000 to the 2500. That's 2500 volts across the whole transformer, and it's full wave, so that's 1250 each side. But anyway, now I've got a resting voltage of uh, 1900 under full load. I got 1440 volts, and look at that output 470 watts. I'm telling you. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that in there or not. The uh, the plates are a little a little on the orange side. This camera tends to uh, accentuate it a little bit too much. They're not quite they're not near as bright as it makes them look. But uh, that's nearly a half a kilowatt output from a pair of 811s running at 1450 volts under load. Just had to show that.